I'm Ken McKenna, the owner of this property. A welcome to Los Feliz, originally a mid-century modern from the 1950s, but now completely reconstructed and an oasis for its occupants and for its guests. To anybody who comes in the front door of this house, it's pretty striking that the ceiling is an extensive modernist coffered ceiling. The hope here was that the walnut would give a kind of warmth to something that might easily come across as uh, too severe. So the entry hall leads seamlessly into the living area, which is all designed as, as open plan. I like open plan, I think most people do, but it can have some drawbacks. One is a loss of privacy. The other concern that uh, open plan can bring is that the kitchen has to be incorporated. Kitchens have design elements that are so strong that it's easy for them to take over visually. And here the idea is to make the kitchen as elegant and understated as possible so that one doesn't really feel like you're in the kitchen and yet the kitchen is completely functional. One thing I really like about the house is that the entire living area, including the kitchen and the dining area next to it, all open out seamlessly onto the lawn. The turf here is synthetic. Uh, we have a water consideration. We do live in a, a fairly dry area, but there's plenty of nature out here. The trees helps to filter the light and give this whole area a kind of quasi indoor feeling without ever actually feeling claustrophobic. One of the main features of the house is the pavilion. It could serve as the family room, entertainment room. There is a, uh, a bar. It's also something that could be used as a, uh, as a guest room, and it could also function as a children's playroom or a home office. The main striking feature of the uh, primary bedroom is a slightly sunken area that's a, a reading nook. The idea is to bring uh, as much of nature as possible in without being too aggressive about it. The lighting is recessed into the beams, which I think creates a kind of jewel-like effect. And then finally, the bedroom area sweeps seamlessly towards the bath and a small deck beyond. There is an outdoor shower, which is possible because the, uh, the deck in the back enjoys uh, complete privacy because of the uh, giant timber bamboo that uh, borders the property uh, on all sides. I want to thank you for joining me. This project was a labor of love and I hope the owner will benefit from that and appreciate it and that you join me on the next project. There's even more stunning homes and designs just waiting for you. Come on in, the water's fine. Like and subscribe, because a lot of these homes have spectacular pools.